Welcome back to Get Lost with Brooks. I'm Brooks. Today we are in Sedona hunting sacred vortexes. A lot of people visit Sedona, Arizona for the obvious reason. It's drop dead gorgeous. In fact, I'd been there before for the same reason. But on this visit, I'm looking to try something different. This is Anana. Tell us about vortexes. Uh, well, vortexes are known to be um, sacred sites of spiritual energy that can bring on transformations, enlightenment. So we're going to go see. We're going to go check out the four. Vortexes! Now that sounds pretty different. I love weird adventures, so this is right up my alley. But novelty aside, it's also something I know my partner will be into. And, you know, that matters. There are four locations we're going to go to and see what kind of vibes we can discover. First up will be Boynton Canyon, followed by Bell Rock, Cathedral Rock, and finally, Airport Mesa. Let's do this. In Boynton Canyon, we set out to find the center of its mystical energy, the Boynton Spire, also known as the Kachina Woman. We just met some new friends. Austin, Carol, 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 Carol. Carol. And together we are going to discover the special magical energy of this area. Boynton Canyon is considered the most sacred of the vortexes. It has a balance of masculine and feminine energy. Could be the vortex, could be the heat, could be dehydration, but I'm definitely feeling something. We're here. It definitely feels special here. And I feel like the most appropriate thing to do is to take a breath and meditate. How do you guys feel? Great. Fantastic. I feel peaceful. With our consciousness elevated, things started to get weird. That was amazing. That was real vortex. Did you guys, did you feel that? We got a heart that represents unconditional love. Mystical hey, traveler. Was that a real experience? So our hearts is a direct divine connection. Our creator's energy is only one thing, and that's unconditional love. And everything in the universe is connected to everything in the universe through the unconditional love. That's the oneness, and that's the purpose of the universe. He was not of this dimension. No. We might have eaten something. I, I don't know. <laughs> With hand-chiseled hearts in hand, our Vortex adventure is off to exactly the right start. I can show you Sedona. Take you Vortex by Vortex. Right, babe? So we are now coming up to our second Vortex, Bell Rock. Ooh, and there it is. The second Vortex is feeling really strong. We're just starting the trail and I can already feel something special. Okay, I'm just kidding. All I'm feeling is heat exhaustion, but maybe something different is going on because I'm usually pretty good at wayfinding, usually. We've been walking for, I don't know, 30 minutes, and uh, I think we got lost in the vortex. We got all the way to the top, got a huge fish. Yeah. At least this big. Yeah, that's, yes, that's absolutely what happened. We did not give up because of the heat or the cosmic energy. Or the weird trail markings. Right. Lucky for us, local experts claim you don't have to visit the top at all. It's just as possible to have an experience down at the bottom. I was wondering what the Vortex experience was going to be here. And I just found out that our new friends, this is their one year anniversary of experiencing each other for the first time and I'm getting chills. This feels like some serious, authentic Vortex <laughs> Oh man! Vortexes! Yeah. Unlike Bell Rock, the third Vortex is one we'll have to summon to experience. That split in the wall is called the saddle and getting there is no small feat. The hike to get to the top of Cathedral Rock is only 0.7 miles but it starts to become what's called fourth class hiking, which is just below actual climbing. Let me give you an example. Just a heads up that there is this giant crack scramble thing when you're trying to get up here. So I just look out for that. Put your feet in the middle of the crack and you'll have a lot of traction. Pro tip, bow, bow, bow. 
we just gained 650 feet of elevation, making this the hardest vortex to get to, but also the most rewarding. This lava tube is the center of the vortex at Cathedral Rock. It is a lava chute that came up out of the earth and hardened here, right at the top of this giant, beautiful rock formation. I want to know what the vortex means to you, if it means anything. It means the possibility of collapsing my lungs. <laughs> Possibly falling to my death. Hmm. Seeing lightning in the distance and hmm. not really caring about it. Hmm. I'm gonna get my vortex experience up here. Now, I don't know what a vortex is supposed to feel like, but the rocks and the view and the stillness in the air definitely give this place a magical quality. Okay, one more vortex to go. Let's do this. If collapsing your lungs doesn't sound appealing, this last vortex might be more your speed. We're looking for the fourth vortex. What is it, Airport Mesa? Airport Mesa. It's the shortest one to get to. You just have to drive up and walk. This energy center is said to inspire creativity and cultivate joy and rejuvenation. I'll tell you, after four big hikes in 24 hours, that sounds pretty good to me. I think this is the vortex. My lesson at this vortex is that, well, I think the vortex is inside all of us. Hiking up all these mountains and having these experiences made me realize maybe there's just something special inside of all of us. So whether you make it to Sedona to visit these vortexes or you're at home trying to feel it inside you, I think it's all good. That was incredible. Thank you for joining us here in Sedona to discover all the mystical vertices of vortexes and everything that's come with it. I'll leave a link to our new friends, Austin and Carol, in the description below, as well as a link to my beautiful girlfriend, Inanna, so you can follow her on Instagram. And all of the locations are also in the description below. Cool, that stuff. I love you. Peace out, beings of light. Until next time. Yeah,